Hey gang, here we go with a quick look at uh, Invaders from Dimension X. This is a Herman Lubman title, or Herman Lubman title. Uh, this is a solitaire system, very straightforward, easy game to play. It's going to have a lot of replay value, primarily because of these chits that you can see just at the edge of frame. Let's screw over here a little bit. And you know, the chits in this cup here. Each of those chits activates the aliens, and the aliens, you know, there's a, a very loose story behind why the aliens conduct themselves in a random manner, but regardless, that's what happens. The aliens uh, will conduct their actions based upon uh, two things. Firstly, the chip that's pulled that denotes their action, and that action is explained in a little chart here that gives all the, uh, all the aliens their activities for the turn and the things that they will do. Sometimes they'll bug out, sometimes they'll attack you from a distance, sometimes they'll close with you, they'll do various things. And uh, then there's also the what the alien's mission is. And the mission is driven by uh, a chip-pull mechanic as well. So that may be uh, decapitation of leadership, it may be uh, killing off logistics units, uh, there are the, uh, the marines basically, or the space marines usually have uh, a logistics unit, a HQ, a marine, a scout, maybe a special forces unit. And, uh, and it'll be different, different goals each scenario. Now there are only two scenarios in the game. There's a move from one side of the board to the other side of the board and get good stuff off to go rescue uh, units that are on the, the flip side of this map. And that then becomes a base rescue mission where you're fending off or getting to and then fending off the aliens and protecting the base and the science that's in that base. So cool little system, works very simply. It's uh, literally a handful of dice kind of concept where you're taking, let's see if we can zoom in here a little bit, uh, the number on the left there with the gun. This is a Marine squad, it rolls four dice to attack and it's going to try and hit, it will hit in fact on anything over a three, right here. And it requires three hits to kill a unit, and often what you'll find is you'll have to pull a chit when you do less than three hits, so you do one to two hits, you're going to pull a chit, and most of the time what you're going to do is pull something that actually improves the defensive value, the defensive shielding of the aliens, which is really freaking annoying. So uh, you can't combine attacks, so it's four dice basically all the time, unless you choose to... Uh, shoot and scoot, in which case you'll be using less dice, uh, or you may uh, conduct a recon action, or there are other things you can do in a turn, right? Uh, and that's where, as a, as a solo game, this game plays quite well, because it, at a tactical level, you've got a lot of choices that you can be making as the player. Uh, you're not just rolling dice and pulling chits for the system and playing out the system's game turns, right? You're choosing which units to move, when to move them, when to attack, how to attack. Am I trying to scout ahead? Uh, you know, there's a jumping thing where you can just move across the board. Uh, you've got to roll a die for it though. Uh, do you want to try and put the monolith out of action and see what that does? Uh, this monolith unit over here somewhere there. and. Uh, or do you, uh, or are you trying to do something else now? As I'm playing this, I'm in the fifth turn of this right now. Uh, probably in a pretty bad shape. I've got to recover. I've got to rally all of these paralyzed guys. I've already lost two units and only killed three. And uh, it's a function of the die rolling to a certain extent. You know, once once these guys get uh, get these extra sort of shielding shits on them, these these results where you don't kill them. Although there are some ones in there. There you go. Just to sh just to show me wrong. There's a one. Oh, there's a two. So okay. So I guess the, everyone I pulled so far has been a five. So uh, I thought they were mostly fives. Uh, there's lots of other different shielding levels, and uh, mostly what have happened has happened is that my guys have rolled pretty poorly. Um, 
you know, the aliens are fairly aggressive in this, and so I think it's a very desperate struggle, which makes it uh, tense. Uh, everything you need to know really is on the map as well, so it's uh, literally the map, the counters, and this uh, this chi this uh, sheet for the actions of the, the activations, describing the actions of the activations for the aliens. And you'll notice it's got this, this numbering system on the map. That is when, you, when you're when you dropping units in, uh, you roll three dice, and that generates where the units land. So it's a nice random format there as well. So uh, as a game, in terms of interest for me, it is probably fairly low. As a game that I would uh, take on the road with me or just pull out and have some fun with, Absolutely, I could see myself playing three or four turns of this and have a cocktail, hanging out in a hotel room or uh, you know, waiting for a buddy to turn up to play a game. You could just literally, literally throw this on the board and it's going to be a different game every time and a particularly interesting one at that. One, one, of, the thing, you know, one of the things that does happen is uh, you, know, you get stuff caught up behind the lava fields and uh, that really does save the... Uh, save the marines from a little bit of grief because the, there's no ranging in this there's only line of sight and so the woods can get in the way but that's just about it uh, so these these guys when they're told to fire uh, you're, you're taking a whole lot of damage anyway a cool little game it's from uh, Tiny Battle Publishing which my understanding is that they are intent upon releasing at least a game a month, if not more, more likely two games a month. Uh, right now, games are, I, I think, nineteen ninety nine on the website. They'll be twenty four bucks regularly. No P five hundred, no pre ordering. Just go order one, have it delivered to your house, try it out. I've got three other games I'm going to try after I finish wrapping up this scenario, and then we'll go at it from there. I hope you guys enjoyed the quick look at it, and we'll talk to you again soon.